Hi there, my name is Emily and I am CTO at Evidently AI. At Evidently we build an open source tool to analyze and monitor machine learning models. Today I am going to show you how you can run a dashboard or a profile using Evidently from Terminal. This is very convenient in case you are going to schedule the report calculations uh, for example, for monitoring purpose, or you just do not want to open up a Jupyter notebook, or, and you just want to quickly run the dashboard or profile calculation from the terminal. So I already opened my terminal. Here we are. And um, I prepared the dataset. Basically, I'm going to use breast cancer dataset from Scikit-learn. So I created my reference and current part of this data. I imported it in a CSV format and put it there in my local directory. So let's see how the files look like. And I will start from the uh, reference part of my data. So with head of hand minus two command, I will print out first two rows of my data set. So we can see that I have the column names there. That format is comma separated. So my data are separated with help of comma. And that's how the data set looks like. So let's make sure that our current data have the same format. Let's print out our current part of the data. And yes, we can easily see that our current data set has the same format. So probably we have everything to create the profile or, or dashboard. In most cases, for monitoring purpose, we are going to use profiles because it's just more convenient format. It's JSON. So let's generate the profile uh, from command line interface. For doing it, let's create the profile JSON uh, configuration. So I already have some predefined config file, let's open it and see how it looks like. We have a JSON config that contains from several parts. First part is data format because we need to specify how we are going to read our files. So we start from the separator, in our case it's comma, so we print the separate, separator comma. We have a headers, this is why our header is equal to true, and we have no date time column, so our date column is equal to null. The second part is column mapping, which is very similar to Python dictionary, where we specified how evidently should parse our data frame. So there we have basically all the same information. We printed there uh, how we need to, how we can find our target function. That's simple there because it's just called target, and I have a list of numerical features. I could also add my categorical features there, but I just decided to limit myself with the numerical features for the analysis. This is why I have only numerical features list. Feel free to add more if you want. Um, I need to spe uh, specify which parts of the profile I want to build there, and I'm going to calculate data drift and categorical target drift. This is why my profile sections part is equal to the list of data drift and categorical target drift. Then the pretty print option and, well, it depends on how you are going to use the profile. If you are going to integrate it with, for example, Airflow or Prometheus and Grafana, then probably there is no need to create uh, the pretty printed file. But I'm going to print it out for you, so this is why I decided to switch pretty print to true. Then we have very nice options of sampling available there. Sometimes you are working with pretty big files, and in this case it makes a lot of sense to use some sampling strategy. Here evidently allows you to have different sampling strategy for your reference and current files. This is very convenient because sometimes the current data can be much bigger than the reference or vice versa, and in this case you can, for example, use the sampling only for one file or use different strategy. Let's say take 50% of the reference data and 10% of the current data. Uh, let's, for example, do no sampling for reference, so our sampling time for reference is equal to none, and let's randomly select 80% from our current data. In this case, we say that our type of the sampling will be random, and ratio will be equal to 80%. So that's basically it. Let's save our file and quit. So here we are. Let's clear our screen, and now we are ready to generate the profile. So let's do it with help of uh, the Python. So what we do there is we run Python module, we run evidently, and we run calculate method. Here we specify that we are going to build a profile, this is why we write down calculate profile, and a list of our options. First of all, pass to the profile 
uh, config file, right? And this is we specify with help of config. Here, here it is. Then we need to specify all paths to our reference and current data. So our reference is breast modeling reference CSV and our current is breast modeling current CSV. All there. We are going to put the profile right there in this current directory. This is why our output directory is equal to a dot. It's a local, it's there. And we need to select the name for our report file. So let's call it beginster profile example JSON. So now we are ready. Let's just run this command and see how it looks like. So now we can see that it's calculating, right? So we have some statistics of how many rows are read from reference and current data set. So it's all there. And we have our file ready. So let's see how it looks like. Let's open it again with help of Vim. And yes, it's called Beginster profile example, right? So here it is, very pretty printed, and we can see that we have all the sections there. This is the parts of report, we have data drift and uh, target drift, and we have a name, a date time, this is the moment where the profile was calculated, some information about the data, utility columns, categorical feature names, numerical feature names, and all the metrics available there. So after you generate this report, you are free to parse it, to use it for any uh, external tools like Grafana, Prometheus, or whenever you want to log this data or maybe visualize it. And that's basically all I wanted to share with you today. Please feel free to visit our GitHub page to see more examples and to see some examples of how you can create the same profiles or similar dashboards with help of Python from the Python notebook. And see you later in our channel.